Hey guys, I'm back with episode 6 of Feed the Beast Ultimate Reload. So, uh, I had to restart on a brand new world because my save file got corrupted. And I tried to fix it and there was nothing I could do. So, I just went ahead and for the past like day and a half I've just been gathering materials. Uh, I set up like a starter base over there and then I kind of just finished this like 20 minutes before I started recording this episode. Uh, it's the house that we were working on in the other episode, or the last episode, but I don't think I ever show. I never showed you on camera. Um, we might end up changing the roof to, like, stone brick at some point. Uh, but, so, when you walk in, yeah, the front door is kind of like a little, um, like, foyer entrance, I guess. We have the living room. No, nothing's in the house yet. Uh, you see I have like chests that are going to be dedicated towards stuff. And then I've got a kitchen. So far I have the oven. I need the countertops, sink, uh, refrigerator. I need some lighting up in here. I think I'm going to place like a lighting or two right here. Then you got like a hallway that goes back here. Uh, bathroom. This is either going to be a bathroom or it's going to be an entrance to like the basement or something i don't know uh we might actually end up putting in like a elevator right here if we can ever get one and then that will be down otherwise we will just have that be like the <clears throat> place that the a crafting terminal goes and then we got the bedroom so and it, there's not much here and it's it's a pretty big step back from uh from the from what we had before because we don't have any of the stuff that we worked on. We lost a bunch of our resources. We have way more than this than the previous <clears throat> previous world, but for the most part, I have everything set up. Um, slightly, I got a little bedroom right here. Keep in mind, like I, I made this design by myself. So, I mean, I, it doesn't look quite as good as that because I, I followed a tutorial and this I kind of just made my, on my own. But I kind of like is marble and oak wood with the spruce wood stairs. Uh, it's, uh, I believe it's six by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven by, two, three, four, five, six. Seven by six house. <clears throat> and then, I mean, it, it's a pretty simple build. If you look at it, it's just, it's basically just um, like a square. A rectangle, I guess, and then the front just comes out by one just to make it flat. Not flat, I mean, just make it give it shape. And then I did this for the door. You just come down here, and that goes all the way down and loops around, all the way down like almost bedrock, I think. But yeah, I just I wanted to give you guys a little quick little update on everything. Um, I think I'm probably gonna keep working on getting my stuff off camera and then start doing layout for this house um i gotta figure out where where i want everything to go so i think i'm probably gonna like start clearing out space for a basement and then we're gonna work on getting our machinery again i don't have any of my any of my quantum or my nano armor so i don't have my jetpack i don't have our power stations i don't have a pulverizer all that's lost uh, i think for now, you know what? For now, let's just, let's just go down through here, and then we'll just make this be like we'll make it like a ladder area. Uh, we're gonna go down one, two, or three, four, five, six, and then over by. I don't know how big of a space I want this to be, but I'll, I'll give you guys an update once I finish it. Alright, so after about an hour of working off camera, uh, <clears throat> I just came through. I had some boxes around the house to make it look like we're moving in. Just cosmetic items, you know, just nothing, nothing important. Um, the main change is down here. I cleared this out and I turned it into a room. Um, I started up with thermal expansion and I had these connected so the pulverizer cooks it throws it into here um we need to make we need to get a way for um for the bottom 
to go out too. I just I don't know how to do that. Right now. But we have it going like we just drop them in here and they cook, they go through the furnace and they pop up in here. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is putting a chest like right here or something. Uh, and that will just be actually we'll we can leave that there. Uh, the chest will go right here. We can actually move this over, can we? Is there is there a chest we're not using? Let's just let's create another chest off of this oak, and we're just gonna place it right there, and then it's gonna be set for blue. Auto input enabled. Let's just test it out with iron. So if we put it in here. Yep, there you go. So start pulling it out of here. Which is what we want. Because we're gonna be able to, we're gonna be pulling all this stuff eventually. And then we just have it get sent through here. Um the, there's just a slight chance that it could cause a backup. Because I don't exactly know like what different like what blocks produce what inside the pulverizer uh, but we'll, we'll come back and do a checkup on that um right now however uh th there's there's nothing inside of these really it's just uh it's just placeholder blocks for now uh we're gonna change it up eventually i do want to furnish this house like i don't know how functional it's gonna be i know the, the kitchen to be functional um the living room might have an enchanting station in here the only real room that's gonna be functional is the bedroom uh i just i have to figure out what i want it to look like before i do anything because obviously if i just put a bed it's gonna look really plain uh what about a tv we do have a modern TV that we could use and a TV remote. What is this? It allows you to wirelessly control a TV, change channels, something right click. Okay. Vehicle crate. Okay. Um, so I think the ones that we need, we could just make that, but we're going to make that and then a uh, modern table possibly I, I i can't i don't like how the crayfish blocks require concrete and stuff because concrete is not very easy to make i mean if we just look at how to make white concrete or where is it uh white concrete powder it's gravel sand and then bone meal or white dye which i guess white dye isn't that hard Come by, I believe that this is white dye right here. I think. No, it's light gray dye. So, at least we'll have white gray. Light gray, not white gray. Um, we do need to find desert and stuff. I I know this is like really confusing for some of the people. Oh God, this gets on. How did you even get in here? You weren't even... Okay. That really pisses me off. He wasn't even, like... There's... It's not... Bright. It's not dark in here. We're gonna have to go to the nether at some point and get glowstone. Or make some type of lighting situation going on so that we can better handle that. Because that, that kind of sucks. Although, actually, slash game rule. Mob reefing false. There we go. Don't want to do that. Hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it as is for now. Like, we'll, we'll leave it the way it is. And then, if I decide to change it back, then obviously I will. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just don't want to deal with all the mobs griefing my stuff, my hard work base. 
Imagine if they had killed us. That would have been. Oh, that would have been bad. So we're actually gonna sleep the night away, and I'll pick up when I have an idea of what I want to do. Update time. So, um, had the enchanted table, got an anvil. Um, had a few more things to the kitchen list, and then in here we have a TV with working gif kind of I mean, it's a little hard to see but it works so there's that um as far as like plans go for the base not really sure hold on let me turn that off real quick i was in the public chat just doing all that stuff um so that house is almost pretty much useless that's just the um, the portal hubs. I have the mine world and I also have the another portal. Um, <clears throat> I think in, like in the next episode we're probably gonna add like some trees out here or something. Some like custom made ones. Um, my next, the next goal that I have is to start getting our nano armor again and for that we need to set up industrial craft. I I think industrial craft need to be set up on this wall. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna move the chests around some. Not, we don't have to do too much work, but we definitely have to do some. Let's, um, let's just break this block real quick so we can get our cardboard box. And we're gonna break that. We're gonna go with this. And then, as far as this one goes, I will place a torch on top of it. That, that's that's just silly. There we go. So now that's moving out of the way. Um, I think at some point I want to convert this wall to like a barrel wall. Because I mean, look at all that stone we have. Oh, I'm changing my pick. I have. XP boost, multi efficiency. Um, I'm gonna try to not use it that much. I want to put mending on it before I use it all. Because if I can get mending, then like the possibilities are endless. So, yeah, that's that's always fun. Um, I just I have too much space in my or too much too many ugh too many resources my inventory and I need to make a chest upgrade and to do that go like this and then we just finish it off I know that like all this is already done at one point or another so I'm trying to keep it pretty short short and simple um but yeah that that's basically where we're at right now don't need that and um as far as as far as the base goes i'm pretty happy with with what we have right now that i mean it's not it's not that bad but i'm gonna i'm gonna work on this a bit and that seems like we got a party of the green stubby boys over here there's one there and then two right there all right so <clears throat> I didn't really know where to place the compressor that I made, so I kind of just, I made a uh, low voltage solar array and then connected the compressor over here, like the old base. I think I I, I'm either gonna move this or I'm gonna build something similar uh, over there towards. Let's let's actually go that way real quick. I'll show you guys <clears throat> what my plan is for this. Most of the trees have grown in, so that's that's good. It makes it look nicer. Uh, I need to finish this like pathway up. I want to connect it down here and then make a bridge that goes across. So uh, I was trying to like figure out where to put it down here, but there's not really a good spot to put it because, as you can see from here, um, if I try to place it through any of this. This way pops through the living room, that pops in the bedroom, that goes in the bedroom too. Um, 
there's not really a good place to put it, so I'm thinking maybe I'll build some type of like work shed back here. Just like something something that can hold like um they can hold our machinery. Uh that's from industrial craft and then we'll like make it a flower roof or something and just fill it with solar panels. Um basically anything with solar panels is gonna be hard to make basically because it requires me to have a flat surface to put them on either that or just throw them on the floor and I don't really want to do that because you know we have a creeper problem and they'll probably end up like breaking them off and so yeah that's that's basically where we're at right now um I'm just trying to figure figure everything out I need to I need to get this house fixed like finished up but problem is that with the crayfish mod um if we go there most of the most of the like countertops for the kitchen at least require concrete and I don't really want to make concrete because I hate making it but yeah so I mean I don't don't really know what to do as far as that goes um let me know in the comments like any suggestions you have but as of right now, we're kind of running out of materials. I think like we're not we're not like super low, but if we go through, we're like we're kind of almost out of coal. We have plenty of iron. I I would like some more iron though, some more copper. Definitely need some more gold. Um, redstone we're good. We have almost two stacks of blocks. So and uh, and then of course we need some more diamonds before we make the nano armor because 55 diamonds isn't gonna do anything uh if we go and hold on not jetpacks uh nano nano suit jet plate plate pack that's one crystal right there uh i believe no no crystals there i think it's just one energy crystal for that and then the rest of the stuff like we've already made before so it's not too hard to do um we need to use a compressor we need bronze it's just 10 and copper so i'm going to hop into the mining world i'm going to collect some resources and i'll come back with you guys so i'm just in the process of making uh the dark steel ingots so that we can make the enchanter because with this enchanter we can um basically make any book that we need with it uh <clears throat> apparently it takes like a, a book and quill and then like a certain amount of like gunpowder or whatever just like different items to make um to make different enchants but the one that i am looking for is this one right here mending and so to make the mending we need uh 15 lapis and we also need the experience rod which is solarium, which is soul sand and gold. That's, that's not hard to make. Um, but the tough part, I think, is the energetic alloy, which I guess it's not that hard to make because we basically already have the alloy smelter that we need. So, I mean, it's not going to take too much more work to do. Okay, so we're looking at the enchanted table like this. We just need two more pieces right there and I'll make it. Uh, what I don't know is if that if it needs power or not. If it needs power, that's that's kind of a problem. Although I don't think it does need it. But I mean, it, it never hurts to check. Uh, I went mining for a bit. I got like a few more diamonds uh, <clears throat> and a couple more pieces of iron. I've I've used some of my stuff to make more items. Um, why is there only three there? Oh, because it's making the last one. I'm just stupid. Alright, so that was just a quick little update. What we got going on. I right, so I made a small little, like, work shed out back. This is where we're going to have the industrial craft stuff. I made it just big enough to where, like, I don't really care what it looks like. Um, 
the outside, like, I, I don't know if I'm loving it, but it uh, looks decent. I have, like, chiseled birchwood planks, oak wood, and then the roof. And then it's got, like, kind of a slope roof going on. Nothing, nothing fancy, nothing special. Um, huh. Trying to think of how I want to do this. Maybe something like this. I don't know. It is what it is. <clears throat> we'll leave it. We'll leave it like this for now, and then we'll come back and maybe adjust it. But basically, I have it to where we can have like solar panels up here, and then we just run the cables down. And as I said, this is just a work shed, so. I don't really care what it looks like on the outside. Um, what I could end up doing though is because these materials have uh, the micro blocks, is I can just run like all the cables down. I'll put like up the roof one more or something, and just run the cables through this, and then down, and then underground or something like that, and they'll all pop up on the bottom so that they're not even seen. But that's all for later when we actually get stuff set up but um i'm gonna start working on getting a uh the mfe mfe setup and then also start making the netisu jetpack and the mfe is done so now we just have to start working on the armor itself which is going to take more time than I want because nano I have to make the nano suit chest plate first which we can make that right now actually I just need uh, eight more redstone one more diamond place it like that and boop so that and then we take it like that and now we have the nano suit chest plate and now at least we'll have some protection and then we need to make the event circuit, glass fiber cables, which is two more diamonds. I feel like if we use pulverized silver, let's do pulverized silver, because that'll give us two more glass fiber cables. And then the possibilities are endless. Or should we just use redstone? I feel like I have more redstone than I do silver. And it seems to me like silver is harder to find so we'll, we'll do it like that this this is the part that's gonna take some time to make like with the engine boosters and all that stuff because we need two advanced circuits for that and then we need diamond and blah 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 and this is it, it just adds on the list for this mod pack is just ridiculously big and everything's connected to one another and yeah I don't know. Um, so, I think I'm going to end the episode here. I know it took a little bit longer to produce than, than I wanted it. It's just with the whole mod pack crashing and me having to restart. Like, I didn't want to start from nothing and just begin again. I feel like that would have been pointless to watch. So, I kind of just did a lot of the stuff off camera. And it just it got on top of me. And then I just started, like, going at it and trying to get back up to where we had it before. But I do like this new map, if we fly up real quick, um, we can see, oh yeah, I added the, the, gener the solar panel, the compressor, and then also an MFE down there. If we look at this, so like, <clears throat> it's, it, it's way nicer of land, we have a lot more freedom, so we can actually build like farms and stuff that we want around here. But, yep, I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye!